Is your GTA 5 running like this? And whenever you play it, it gets stuttering and lag. So in this video we are gonna fix lag of GTA 5. And also show you a trick to increase FPS. If in the end you are happy with your result, please do subscribe the channel. It takes so much efforts to make videos. So let's start the video. First create a restore point. If anything goes wrong we can revert them. Go to search and type create a restore point. Simply open it. Now select C drive. And then click on config. Make sure this system protection is turn is on. Now hit apply. And then ok. Now click on create. Name it whatever you wish. Then click on create. It will take few seconds. When it done. Now here you can see system restore. If something goes wrong, you simply click here to revert all the changes. Now we have to disable Windows animation. Go to Advanced. Under Performance click on Settings. Now change it to Custom. Under Custom check two options. First show thumbnails instead of icon. And second smooth edges of screen fonts. Now hit Apply and then OK. Now your PC animations is disable. It helped to reduce system usage. Now we have to turn off some settings. Simply go to settings. Now go to system. Notification and actions. Simply turn off notification. Now go to multitasking. And simply turn off snap windows. And guys one more thing. If you are using dual monitor. Skip this step. Now go back to home. And now click on personalization. Click on colors. And turn off transparency effects. Now go back to home. Go to apps. In offline maps, simply turn off map updates. And then delete all maps. Now go to startup. Now disable all unnecessary program. If you don't know what are unnecessary programs just leave it. And also make sure you don't disable Vanguard if you play Valorant. Now again go to home. This time go to privacy. In general turn off everything. Then go to diagnostics and feedback. Turn off this, and delete diagnostic data. Now scroll, and go to background apps, and simply turn off background apps by here. This will reduce CPU usage. Now you can close the settings. Now we have to create a new power plan. Go to battery icon, simply right click on it, and then click on power option. Now click on create a new power plan. Now set this to high performance. Save this plan as whatever you wish. Then click on next and then create. And guys remember one thing. When you are not playing games. Simply switch it to balance mode. And also don't play game on battery. Always play while charging. Next deleting hidden junk file. Which are slowing down your PC for no reason. Hit Windows plus R key on your keyboard. And type TEMP and hit enter. And delete all the files. Don't worry we are deleting only trash file. Now again hit Windows plus R key on your keyboard, and type percent %TEMP% percent and hit enter. Now again delete all the files. If some file doesn't delete just leave it. Now again hit Windows plus R key on your keyboard, and type prefetch, and then hit enter. Now again delete all the files. These junk files are slowing down your PC for no reason. Now download this file. Link is in description. Simply extract it with WinR. You will get a folder simply open it. Now here watch carefully. This step is only for low end PC. You have to select folder according to your system. For example, I select extreme low. Now right click on it. And edit it. Now watch carefully. Copy all the text except last two lines. And now go to documents. Rockstar Games, GTA 5, now right click on settings, and edit it, now select everything except last two lines, and now paste what you copy, and also don't forget to save the text. Now let's open the game, and see the magic, as you can see my game is running smooth, I know the graphics is low, and sometime road and buildings not loading, but that's the only way to play this game, and guys if you want more boost in performance, then minimize the game, and open task manager, expend GTA 5, right click on it, and go to details, now here right click on GTA 5 X file, and set the priority to high, and done.
And if this still lag, then you can try other configs also. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. And guys if you have Intel HD graphics then watch this video. And if you are getting high disk usage then watch the right video.